Hey, what's up, Internet? We have a dumb idea today, because I missed yesterday when Clarus was reviewing the new Batman trailer, reacting to it, because I was at Ikea, because we had to pick up a thing, and so we had this idea, well, like, you didn't get to watch the trailer, why don't you react to my reaction, because that's, that's dumb, but I it's set up and ready to go, so <laughs> please enjoy my reaction to my wife's reaction to the Batman trailer. What's up, Internet? I'm Clara Shakaris, and we have another Batman trailer to react to. This one is the Bat and the Cat. They, like, gave a name, I'm trying to be fancy about it. Um, if you've watched my other channel, you'll know that... For... My other channel? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Is this not a joint venture? Is this... Do you have two solo channels? Am I a joke to you? First trailer, I was like, cool, I like this, I'm kind of into it. I haven't seen Robert Pattinson in anything other than Twilight and Tenet. Mm -hmm. um, however, I do know that he's a very talented actor. And if you want to understand why I think Robert Pattinson is going to make a great Batman, go watch Good Time, the Softy Brothers film. Is so He's so good in it. Like, he legitimately, and honestly, he plays Bruce Wayne in Tenet really well as well. But go see uh good time it's it's like it's this movie that takes place in one night and he's just he's he's incredible it's 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 really something he's done incredible things so i'm actually really excited to see him as batman however the second trailer didn't love it didn't yeah. love it uh it was very aggressive and so we're gonna find out how i feel about uh, this new trailer <laughs> I agree with her on that one. I think the second trailer was very, like, rooted in the violence of this movie that I, I'm concerned about. I don't love the idea of Batman as an unhinged, violent Punisher. Like, I don't want him to be the Punisher. I want him to be the Batman. And those characters are different to me. I'm excited to see Matt Reeves take on the character because I think Matt Reeves is a brilliant filmmaker. And I'm excited to see where he goes with it. But I don't think thus far that what I've seen is a take on the character that like reminds me of what I think of when I see the character. And so I, I'm really curious to see how he has adapted it in that way and uh, working with Robert Pattinson, what they've come up with for this. So let's find out together, shall we? Let's. All righty. Does she leave the cursor? on the screen the whole trailer is this did she leave this in oh my god y'all oh no did she leave that there for the entire trailer reaction i'm gonna i'm about to lose my mind not lose my mind i'm about but like wow wow i leave for one day Okay, a new character to start, that's fun. <laughs> nice. <laughs> can we just, can we just talk really quick? Can we just like, doesn't my wife have such a cute smile? Look at this, she's such a cutie. I'm a lucky man. Anyway, sorry. They've used this moment. Ooh, okay. We got a little extra there. They've used that moment so many times and it's great. Is <laughs> that was nice. <gasps> Whoa! Huh. 
。啊、嗯。<laughs> That's nice. Pretty incredible. Okay, before we get into the rest of her reaction, I want to say a couple things. I love that we've been introduced to how Selena Kyle moves in the combat of this movie, and that looks really rad. Zoe Kravitz is even in the second trailer, which I had my like qualms with how it presented the film. I think that the introduction of Zoe Kravitz's Selena Kyle in that trailer was really excellent, and I think that taking that a step further in this trailer by really showing off how uh, she is nailing the combat of that character and the flexibility and the fluid motion of that combat is so fun and I'm, I'm really into that um i'm i'm a little concerned about this alfred lied to bruce storyline and what i hope they don't do is try and make it some like bruce wayne's parents were somehow involved in all this it's a lot to introduce early on, and I, I always feel like it gets a little bit into the realm of what Amazing Spider-Man 2 did with Peter Parker's father, where Peter Parker's father became such an important part of that storyline. And I just kind of wanted to, like, it just to be Peter Parker is Spider-Man, and, like, he has to deal with his problems. Although it's different with Bruce Wayne, right? Right? Like, it is, oh, that is different with Bruce Wayne because his family's legacy in Gotham is different to Bruce Wayne's storytelling than I think Peter Parker's family is. So actually, maybe I take that back. Maybe having that be a bigger part of this movie is better than I think it is. That's tough. That's tough. I I don't know. I guess I just, I, I think what gets my, like, the back of, the hairs on the back of my neck up is that, like, Alfred is Bruce Wayne's number one. You know what I mean? Like, Alfred is the most important member of the Bat family in the comics to me. And so I just, I hope that that relationship is strong in this movie. And uh, yeah, it's just interesting. This movie seems to want to divorce Bruce Wayne from any relationship to anyone. And obviously we haven't seen it yet. Like, I don't know. It, it is just interesting that that seems to be a thread. And I, I don't want it to be Alfred. Like, he's got to have Alfred, you know? What did she think of it? <coughs> what does she think of it? Let's go. Whoops, Come on, Clarus. Just breathe in there, Ron. Wow. Okay. I have to say, I'm going to say it right off the bat. <laughs> the, the bat. I hate myself. I didn't do that on purpose, I swear. This, I think, is my favorite trailer for the movie so far. <clears throat> I agree. I think this is the best trailer for the movie so far. Because it doesn't focus on the violence as the focal point of the movie. Right? And I think that's what the problem that I have with the last trailer is that it was just so aggressive. Whereas this, the center point of this trailer feels like it is the mystery and the story and who is Bruce Wayne and what is his story and what are the things that are happening in Gotham City. And I, I think that the important point there is that like, I don't mind that Bruce Wayne is violent, right? Like I don't mind ba Batman gets into fights. That's Batman. I think that for my taste, Batman doesn't have superpowers, and the reason he's able to make it as a superhero is because he outthinks his opponents, and he uses his brain to be a non-superpowered person in situations that involve people of intense physical ability, phys uh, mental ability, and super ability. And I want a Batman that feels like he is smart enough to not get into a situation where he has to be hyper violent to get out of it because he's already thought his way through and he has a better plan and i think that sometimes especially in this modern era of like everybody wants to make the like most grounded most gritty most unhinged batman 
what we're losing is Batman's intelligence and just how smart Bruce Wayne is. Like, I love, I absolutely love Christopher Nolan's Batman movie. The first two Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Um, I have a lot of problems with Rises. Um, but the uh, the thing about that Bruce Wayne is that I never believed that that Bruce Wayne was smart enough to come up with the protocols to take down every member of the Justice League. Right, like I was never sold that that Bruce Wayne had that kind of brain set, and I'm I'm not convinced that we're gonna get that kind of like brilliant intellect level Bruce Wayne in this movie either. It seems to be leaning sort of into the same vein as the Christopher Nolan movies, and so I, I share my wife's reticence on that one for sure. I just I find that to be way more interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, the like. The whole you've lied to me. There's secrets. Like I, I love myself a good thriller mystery. Um, I think they're a lot of fun, and they're definitely going like dark and gritty with this Batman. You know, this Batman is angry. Which is on a side note, in the like mystery part, can this Riddler come up with some better riddles? Just like one good riddle, that Justice riddle. I mean, like. This, he's, the, the, sorry, the black and blue and dead all over, and then this, I'm like, are you pulling your riddles out of, like, uh, like a random riddle generator online? Dude, come on. Come on. And I didn't realize Catwoman would be such a big part of the movie. I knew she was in it. I knew she was a, I knew she was, like, a good part of it, but I, I, it seems to me as though she's going to be in a lot of this movie, which is... Is this Catwoman... <sighs> I feel like this Catwoman is this movie's Robin. I feel like I'm pausing her a lot, but like, this is my reaction, whatever. Uh, this Catwoman is this movie's Robin, right? Like they need to give Batman someone. They should give him a Robin. I'm kind of tired of Batman movies where there aren't a Robin. You need Robin to humanize Batman, but if you're gonna use Catwoman to do that, which is what they tried to do in Dark Knight Rises, like Christopher Nolan already kind of did this, right? I think that you need, you need someone to humanize Batman. Because if you don't, he's not a hero at all, right? You need a character beside him to kind of look up to him so that you can see through that character's eyes that Batman is the good guy in these situations. Because at times, especially like in this trailer at times even, and in the previous trailer, it's hard to see how he's the good guy in this situation. So them using Catwoman in the same way that the comics typically use Robin is an in to do that without using a Robin, which every filmmaker seems to be res reticent to do for some reason. I don't know why. Robin's awesome. Dick Grayson is one of the greatest comic book characters of all time. Great. Dick Grayson is the heart of DC Comics. And you don't have modern DC Comics and you don't have the rise of comic books and you don't have the success of DC Comics without Dick Grayson. And he doesn't get enough credit for how important he is to like the overall arching comic structure and how it grew and I, I can't say enough good words about D dick grayson and how important the original robin is to like everything that we love that's becoming nerd culture now anyway i love her i'm like very much okay with that i just want to be very clear um <laughs> she's hot i no, i'm still <laughs> um but yeah cool. uh, as so far out of the three trailers this one is my favorite this one is my favorite Agreed. The first one is middle for me, and then the second one that they put out last was like, just, I, I don't think really told the story. Also, the fact that the Riddler knows Bruce Wayne is Batman, the fact that they're giving that away in the trailer is really odd to me. Mm -hmm. Like, that feels like something that would be like a movie surprise where everybody in the theater goes like, oh, you know what I mean? So, I actually, uh, I agree with her on that. I almost wonder if the Riddler isn't the main villain of this movie. And this is all a, like, uh, a fake out on something else. Because I feel like they've, like, they've given away of the, they've given away the villain's reveals a little bit. Um, and, you know, I, I, like I said in, I, I think it was even the first trailer, I was like, oh, God, they're doing that thing again, where the villain intends to get captured because it's all part of their evil plan. And it's just, that is such a trope at this point. Like, it's been it's it's been done. And I thought that we kind of left that in the, what, whatever, you know. I, when when did uh, Into Darkness and Avengers? I think Into Darkness and Avengers did it in the same year, right? Because Benedict Cumberbatch's Khan got captured 
intentionally and Loki got captured intentionally and the Joker got captured intentionally in The Dark Knight. Like, it's just, that's a trope that we've, we've kind of done. Oops, I almost spilled my whiskey. There better be, there better be some big payoff for that, for that Agreed. moment, for them to use it for the trailer. That seems like it would be better kept a secret, but mm-hmm. hey, I got my degree in theater and acting and not in marketing, so maybe there's a reason for it. If, if she had her degree in marketing, our, our channel would be bigger because we would be better at it, but we, we're just idiots who like to talk about this stuff because we love it. Um, Yeah. I, I was worried that I wasn't going to like it. I won't lie to you. They also keep using the moment with, um, oh, and I'm going to forget his name now because I want to talk about it. The the, the car explosion. Um, the- Colin Farrell is the penguin. See, this is why we work together, her and I. Guys, like, ah, I got you. And then the Batmobile comes out of the fire. Um, it's right there, and I, I am the worst nerd. In- it's Colin Farrell. He's playing the penguin. The history of nerds. Um, they keep reusing that moment in the trailer, and I was like, oh, okay, there's that again. But then it went on a little bit longer, which was nice. It was nice to see. And I do really like the Batmobile. I think the design of it looks very cool. Um, very for cinema, obviously. Um, I don't know anything about cars, but it doesn't look like... <laughs> It's not meant to be practical. No, it doesn't. It, that's, a, that's just a real car. I don't know what she's... I have no idea what she's talking about here. That's a. That's just a... That's a muscle car. It looks very practical. It doesn't even look like it's that modified. I mean, obviously the engine on the back is, but it's... Other than that. It doesn't really matter. It looks dope. I like it. I'm into it. And I'm really excited to see Robert Pattinson... Um, I also like the, the Batmobile... I, I like I, I don't think there's a Batmobile I don't like though. F- from Adam West Batmobile to now, I feel like the Batmobile has been different but awesome in almost every iteration. From the long dildo of the Michael Keaton Batman to the weird convertible of the uh, the like almost like Formula One racing car of Adam West, uh, all the way through to now, I, I feel like the tumbler from Christian Bale's a little bit. Is it a Batmobile? Is it just an army vehicle? That one, that was the most nebulous for me, but even that, I like the design and I think it's a lot of fun in those movies. So every Batmobile so far has worked for me. Do something like this because I've heard phenomenal things about his other work that unfortunately I haven't had time to watch. Um, but I think, I think he's going to be really interesting Batman. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, if you're also looking forward to this movie, make sure you hit the like button. All right. That's the outro from there. I'm not going to make you watch her outro because I'm going to give you my own at the end of this video. I will say, I definitely think this is the strongest, um, I think this is the strongest trailer and I agree with my wife on a lot of what she's saying about it. I, I, and you know, that's why we're married, right? We're, we're in lockstep on things. I think that I'm this, God, this was an eight, 20 minute video. I'm so sorry, but you know. If you're watching this, thank you so much. I'm not going to leave you with much else, except I, I like this trailer a lot more than the second one. I still don't feel great about Bulletproof Batman. I don't want year two Batman to be bulletproof. Um, but in this trailer, we did see him fighting in the smoke, which feels more Batman to me because he like him using the smoke to take them out without having to take too much damage. That's the kind of like brain power trained by ninjas Batman that I want versus the like brute force Batman that we've sometimes seen in these trailers. So I'm hopeful this movie is going to give me a blend of things. And I, some of those things are going to be the things I want. And other things are going to be used by Matt Reeves and this team in a way that gets me on board with them in the film and that I really love it. Because I want to love this movie. Because I, I, you know, it's it's hard to find a Batman movie I don't love. There's two of them. That's a, that's a, that's a story for another video. Uh, stay subscribed to the channel if you want to see that video. If you don't, that's fine. Hit the dislike button because, you know, you can't see it anymore, but we'll know that you dislike us. And that, that's something, right? You can also leave me in comments down below because the algorithm got us hungry and we must feed her. If you go down into that description below us, you will be able to uh, check out gamersups.com or no, gamersups.gg, uh, where you can get your energy drink. Use the coupon code CLARUS for 10% off. It is the best energy drink I've ever had. So yeah, I'm, I, it is my favorite one. I've tried a bunch of them and this is the only one which I actually really like the flavors. So head over to Gamersups and enjoy that discount code for your 10% off 
uh, use Clarus with two O's because that's what I call my wife, this woman right here. That's what I call her. She's the Clarooster. And God, ain't she cute? This is not the best pause moment. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, look, she's so cute. She's so cute. Look at that face. Oh, adorable. Uh, Y'all, thanks so much for watching this. As always, do something nerdy tonight. Bye.